What's going on? Gen X Game is in the building. As you can see behind me, I was able to build us a couple of sacrificial stones that was unlocked after we made our first spell. I also upgraded some of our weapons and noticed that we'll be needing additional resources and just a few more levels. With that being said, in this episode, we're gonna go get us a horse real quick, maybe some black ice, and if we're lucky, show you a spot to pick up some star metal. And since this is gonna be a long trip, I'm gonna try to take the pass with the leaf resistance. So drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and let's Let's go. What we're going to do is check out our map and I'm going to kind of give you guys a, a way of which way we're going to go. This is where we're at right over here and then we're going to make our way up here right by the, the um, brimstone pits. We're going to go up a path through these mountains right here on the other side of these mountains, swim across this river and go up towards the mounds of the dead, creep up along this little ridge right here, then make it up this way to where there's uh, some star metal, some black ice. And there's uh, literally just a little bit of resistance, if any, maybe a couple of wolves or something like that. All right, just come down this path like we were going to the brimstone pits. You can go that way if you want to, but instead we're gonna go hang a left right here. You see there's nothing here. So you just roll on by. You see right there is the brimstone pits. Just stay close to the edge over here. You can see there's a rhino right there and you can find them. We can take them no problem at this point. Plenty of brimstone over here. And this path right here with that locust, that's the path you want to go up. I would harvest them, but again, we're on a different mission right now. Right now we're, we're focused on the horse, which is a lot of weight. Some black ice, which is a lot of weight. And if there's star metal, which we can't harvest because I don't have no uh, fire orbs. But at least I get to show you the location. Right over this hill right here, you see the green. There's bears over here. There might be a couple of cubs, but we're just gonna bypass all that. No biggie, just come in this water. Let's follow this guy real quick though. All right. Looks like the guy got killed, so we're just gonna dive. There's the chest. Are you selling chest? Come on, guy. Come on. Ooh, that was close. Let's go back down. There's the chest right there. If you want to loot it, you can, but we're not going to since we're on a different mission. Let's find that that stone. Okay, there's that stone. And there's a couple of rocks over here directly left of that stone, and that's kind of like the path you want to choose. I really like this area. But maybe after our first purge, then we'll come up here and build a second base. You can see there's a big old moose over there. If you want to tackle him, you can. I, I, I believe it's a skull moose, but you don't need to right now. Just go up this path right here. So this area right here is where I like to build my, my second base. You can either build it in those rocks right there. There's a couple of wolves over there. Once you get rid of them and start putting down foundations, they disappear. Right here, as you can see, there's a little bouncing horse. I don't know if you can see it, but since we're here, we're gonna pick up a horse. There's one, there's another one. There's another one. Where is my girl at? There she is. I'll give her a horse. Hell, I might even get another one. See, they got a different color. Is that what the wizard boss is? Well, that's a horse of a different color. I think they're pretty much all the same. All right, I'll just swoop this one up since it's easy pickings. All right, cool. So now we just keep those, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and try to see about getting some black ice real quick. All right, this is not the way to go. However, if you come down this way, this is where you go to the Mounds of Dead. The Mounds of Dead over there, and there's the, uh, another a bunch of camps right over there. So this is not the way we wanna go. So we're gonna have to fight a couple of wolves. Yeah, so the area I usually come is right down that path right there. I think this stuff right here is just yeast. Leveling agent, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it yeast. Leavening. Here's a little path. We were right over there. That's where we came up at. Just follow this little path right here. You see a wolf right there. If you don't want to fight it, just stay to the left over here. We may or may not be able to, uh, to avoid it though, but I, I think it'll be all right. Yep. We're all good. Follow this ridge over here. Notice that glowing skeleton. Just go straight. And then this first path to your right is where you're gonna where, where you're gonna go. And then you're gonna break up this cliff side. And then right around this to the left right here, you'll see a crevice. And you just climb up these this little uh, crevice right here. 
this is where you're gonna go to find some black ice and star metal. If we're lucky, we'll probably get to see some star metal shoot down from the sky. They're gonna make it rain. That's a ram over there. That's just cool. Okay, on the other side, right where my pointer is pointing, straight ahead, there's a little camp there, and that's where you'll find a Delencia spawn. That now you used to have to go back and forth with there until she spawned in order to get one, and it'd be few and far between before you do get one. But since we've paid the merchant and talked to that wagon captain, we're all good. Usually you can see some star metal if it has fallen. You'll see it hit the sides or edges of these mount on the mountains, edges of the hills here, and, and it'll be smoking. You'll be able to tell. So hopefully we don't freeze up here, but we're getting cold, very cold. All right, we're just gonna fight a couple of these rock noses. It's extremely cold. See, now we're getting some frostbite. All right, let's see if we can't go get back down. This is not good cold weather gear. Resurgence, come on. I just wanna get a couple of picks in so I don't make a lie out of myself, you know what I mean? All right, no black eyes there, no black eyes there. Oh shit. Okay, let's just go get something that'd be cool. Oh, we just cold up here. Ah oh, shit. Okay, let's get rid of some of that and some of that. Alright, what do I drop home? Come on, Delencia. She's handling it. Like, 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 like a boss. Oh, really? There we go. That's my girl. Let's harvest this guy since he has black eyes too. You see there's all kinds of nodes up here. You just come around here, come up over here. I wouldn't go too far down over here. But if you want to learn, you know what? We'll go over there and learn that religion if, if it doesn't freeze us to death. But there's plenty of black eyes here. Easy to get to, as you can see. You just got to kill like three little rock noses, ice cube rock noses, whatever you want to call them, and be good to go. I'm going to try to take some ice with me too. Build me a fridge or something. So this ice is gonna melt the ice that we have in our inventory, just the regular ice. The black ice shouldn't melt, but let's go see if we can't get learn that religion. You just come down here, see we're very cold right now. If it gets extremely cold, we're booking back up. Okay, cool, we're cold again. This guy here will teach you the religion of Yamir, I think it is, I, I forget. There's also a little chest right here. But let's talk to this guy. There we go, we learned the religion. So now you can go build that altar when we get back to the place if we wanted to. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go ahead and head on back home, at least get to a warmer place until the star metal falls so we can see. Cause this is the area where it falls at. All right, so maybe we just sit and wait, I don't know. Yeah, we've been waiting here for a while. I'm just trying to figure out when is the time to bounce. That's the only thing about star metal. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes you just don't see anything when, when you come up here. So when you when you get it or when you see it, you got to try to get it. I, I had one in the middle of this thing and it was hard to get to one time. But, it, you know, they're so scarce that you just got to come and try to get it. But this is where I like to go just to get some. I'd hate to leave and then all of a sudden it'd be like a star metal shower. All right, it's dark now. We'll wait till the sunrise. Trying to be patient for you guys. All right, so just so you guys know where we're at on the map, we are right here. And that Skyfall Ridge, that's the outcast camp right there. It's right across the way. I don't see nothing happening. So let's just go ahead and make our way back. But that is where you get the star metal. So just bust a left down this hill. Hang a right. Head towards this little path right here. At the end of this path, hang a left. Stay towards these rocks right here if you want to. If you want to miss out on that skeleton, that skeleton sometimes gets a little close, but maybe, maybe not. Go through that pass right there. Stay to the right. That is something you might want to visit, but we're not going to do it right now. I think if you go down that crevice, some wolves might attack you. I'm not sure. Again, this is just the path of least resistance. And then you follow the yellow brick road all the way to the river. I believe there's some wolves up on that ridge. But if you stay on this little path right here, you should be fine. See that big guy? Another one across a river. Then you just go right here, go all the way back home. Same way we came. Come up this ridge, go towards the left. I'll say that locust should be there. 
Do you know what I never noticed before? Those trees look like people frozen in time. Crazy. Alright, this is pretty much where we came. Again, you can go up here if you want to. We will. Nice. Alright, go to the right. Alright, and over there is home. I put the foal in there. This is my second foal. It's crafting. It's good to go. So all I gotta do is just get this guy, pull him out. So now I got two horses. I fed the thing vines, as you saw right there. So now we'll just place these two big guys down. That's a big dude, man. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. All right, some thoroughbreds. What's up with that? Let's see if we can't build an ice box real quick. Ice box. Okay, so we need 20 hardened steel bars. Okay, so hardened steel. That's why we got the black ice. Put the black ice in the furnace. Yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Hardened steel, boys. Black ice and steel bars cooked in the furnace. Insulated wood. Come on, all right, let's make a fridge. Put that guy right here next to this guy. Bam. All right, we got us an ice box. To be honest, we really don't need all that ice, but we're gonna put it in there anyways. All right, now we could grab some of this meat right here. Put it in the fridge. We're done with that mission. We got us some horses. We got us some black ice. I showed you where the star metal fell. And not only that, we got us a fridge to put our meat in. In the next episode, we're gonna be heading down to the dregs. So get ready so we can get us some blue goop and finish up with some of our spells. Until next time, we'll catch you later.